My name is called Vicky. My role in this project is I'm a lead performer. My name is Freddie Opoku, and I'm one of the lead performers. I'm the groom of the arranged marriage. Um, as we present ourselves in front of the priestess, we are meeting each other for the first time, so we're quite apprehensive, we're quite shy, we don't know how to act towards each other. And then as we start to understand and uncover each other's like personalities and characters, the way we communicate is out of the extraordinary, basically. It's, 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 it's explosive. I expect the unexpected. <laughs> When we're doing the sequences, the Kung Fu sequences, which is very physical, and then we come to the other side, which is trying to go through the intentions of the sign language. It's physically tiring, because you're really having to process the physical dialogue as well as the um, verbal dialogue. Our form of communication is not only through signing, it's done through martial arts, so Kung Fu, different styles, different forms. As you as an individual, and the communication with your wife-to-be, we're still refining that, but I think the more we have the parts, like this week we're having the first template of the costume coming in, so that also gives another kind of um, persona. I'm already married, so I'm trying to bring some of those actual experiences as well. You've got to bring yourself as a person, because that's what's going to convey. For me personally, when it comes to performing, it's a journey of understanding who the character is. I, I like to think that there's just as much time as we have in rehearsals, I put as much time at home or outside of the rehearsals into the character, and making sure that I understand just the mindset, just to understand what it feels to be a, a different person. And in, in, in a sense, it has to be different to who I am because otherwise it just becomes like, I'm just doing me. But I've got to say, I mean, just learning another vocabulary, another body design is really interesting to know what that conveys and what actually, what story that's telling and all that kind of history and knowledge that Shirag takes us through. I mean, you kind of go, oh, this is what this means. So I'm not just trying to look like as if I can fight. An implicit language is something I'm really interested in. It, I want it to be quite challenging for the audience to think, okay, where are we going with this? Like, how do we get from A to, to B? But at the same time, the way it's being uncovered, it's gonna be like, oh, oh my gosh, like this is, okay. And it, you know, the, the, the emotion that comes from the, the audience is basically how we're feeling as characters in a different way.